What is good, my ninjas? And it is your boy, Yinko, coming at you with another Fantasy Star Online 2 video. So, this video is going to be more uh, about synergy uh, with your uh, movesets on whichever class that you're using. In this case, it's going to be the Braver. And I'll probably do more breakdowns uh, of the synergy of the classes and the movesets and this is solely my opinion uh so don't you know just look at it as an end all be all but do look at this as maybe a reference point of how you want to play with that certain class and you know what you want to do in order to be able to not only get the full usage out of it but kind of do some cool shit kind of but so let's get into the video so for me as far as the movesets that I use uh, I I don't want to say it's weird but uh, the way I the way I do it is usually I you know I go in with the morning mistriever now that is a, a dash move that at the end it does like a whole bunch of multiple slashes now uh, I use that as movement speed for me uh, since you can't really run too fast in this game uh, that's the move that I use in order to be able to move around the map quickly and I'm pretty sure you've seen it in some of uh, uh, other videos of me just dashing around the map uh, that's the move that I usually uh, I usually start out with nine times out of ten but if I don't start out with that move uh, more than likely I'll do a few normal I'll do a few normal attacks uh, and then I'll follow up with a nocturnal blossom which is my Y move that I want to say about 85 90 percent of the time knocks the enemy up in the air unless they're just too big uh but <laughs> that's what she said but uh usually i'll i'll follow that up with the nocturnal blossom which knocks them up the, up into the air and then i'll do some normal attacks or if i can pull off a morning mistriever uh that'll do a whole bunch of multiple slashes right in there in midair and then i can still uh juggle them now uh Depending on the monster, you know, or enemy that I'm fighting, uh, I'll start off with, uh, if they're like little ads here and there, I'll use the Soaring Camellia, which uh, it's kind of like, uh, it throws the katana and it boomerangs. And then usually I'll follow up again with the Morning Mistriever. Now if it's a boss, if it's a boss, uh, I use volcanic carnation just because it just for one it looks cool as fuck when you're doing it and two it deals out huge damage takes a hell of a long time in order to be able to in order uh, to pull off the attack but if you can pull off the attack it does huge it does huge damage I don't want to say huge numbers, but it definitely does huge damage. Depending on the boss, uh, it can, and the element that it's weak to, it can deal a whole lot of damage. Uh, but if it's not, it can deal out a good substantial amount of damage. Uh, at least close to a third of the health, or, you know, or whatever the case is. But, but that's usually what I like to use as far as the katana. And, again... I look at it as synergy just because you know what's easier for me to use now at first I was just randomly putting shit but then as I started using the katana more you know it I was just like okay well, what do I want to do well for one if it's a big if it's a decent medium sized enemy I definitely want to juggle them or even if they're small I want to juggle them like that's just my main thing like it stops them from attacking they can't do anything uh, it, it, they're just vulnerable as fuck in the, in the air, and then of course you follow up with the more with the morning mistriever, 
you know, that does a whole bunch, a whole bunch of damage uh, in a quick succession. So you definitely, uh, or at least I definitely wanted to do that uh, as far as, you know, with, with that. Now, the Morning Mistriever isn't, you know, isn't, uh, 100% all the time, like it does lock on to enemies, you know, whether they're far or near, whatever the case is, but, you know, for the most part, at least about 50% of the time, uh, you know, it's, it's a good move, it's a good move, not only to dash around the map with, but, you know, to also deal with deal out a whole bunch a whole bunch of damage uh now for my right trigger why i have eviscerating bloom and eviscerating bloom is decent uh it's essentially uh a ground-based nocturnal blossom it doesn't deal out a whole bunch of damage but if i wanted to really you know if i go so if I go into Morning Mistriever, I can choose to go with an Eviscerating Bloom, which is a, which is an up slash, but it just doesn't knock them into the air, or at least I haven't seen them knock them into the air. Uh, and then you know, uh, if I want, I can go into a Nocturnal Blossom, and then go back into a Morning Mistriever. I mean, like for me, you know. I used a lot of some of these other move sets, you know, like uh, Spring Flower Storm, you know, or uh, uh, Unspoken Barbarity, or you know, Flash of the Lotus. You know, they, they were okay. You know, they were okay. They weren't anything that I was like, oh man, I gotta have this. But you know, if I want to say Unspoken Barbarity, it does like a circular move and uh you know if i had like a whole bunch of enemies around me then sure but you know you don't find yourself really surrounded by a whole bunch of enemies you know just because if you're running with a group of four uh you definitely uh, you definitely won't have that issue you know everybody will basically gang up on that group you know or, or whatever but if you are running by yourself you know i would say unspoken barbarity is is a good is a maybe can replace uh eviscerating bloom so uh if you wanted to put it in that spot uh i haven't used i want to say i have used cherry blossom finale I have uh, Lunar Flourishing, never used that. It, I, I mean, let me not say I never, but I have. Uh, just, again, you know, it's one of those, it's one of those circumstantial uh, movesets that, you know, depending on the enemy and, you know, the right conditions, you know, you could definitely uh, use that move. Uh, I mean, every move, that's for the katana is definitely and i know i'm focusing a lot of, on the katana but that's only because that's only because i have you know that's all i use you know i don't use the gun blade and i don't use uh the bow even though the bow can be used uh for a lot of dps uh dealing out a lot of dps i've seen it you know, I've seen it, but it's just one of those things where, you know, I, I just don't, you know, I, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to use that. But anyway, I hope this was, this was kind of helpful as far as, you know, just going, you know, if you're using Braver, you know, this is, you know, a good way of having like some type of synergy uh, between your movesets. Uh, if you want to rearrange or if you prefer one move over the other, please, please don't take this as me just saying, like, you have to use my set of moves. This is just something that you can use as a reference point to be able to really uh, customize, you know, what you want as your uh as your move sets while you're out and about uh, on expeditions or quests or whatever the case is but 
that's gonna be it for the video leave a like leave a comment down in the description below uh, if you if you were digging it uh, you know and you know subscribe if you want to see more uh, I'll try to make more um, I'll try to make more uh, you know videos on synergy and stuff once i use it like now that i'm 75 with my braver class i'm starting to use it i hate hunter i absolutely hate hunter but i will make uh a, i will make something for the hunter just you know just so uh you know i i'll cover all of them but hunter will more than likely be the I say the hunter or ranger are probably the, the the two classes that I'll probably do in the next videos on. But anyway, all right, this video's gone on long enough. This is your boy Yinko. I'm out. Peace, my ninjas.